Find the inverse Laplace transform of 4s minus 6, all being divided by s squared plus 16. Solution. So if you kind of look at this fraction, you can see that if we break it up, we're going to get a cosine and a sine. If it's not obvious, well, let's write down the formulas. So the inverse Laplace of s over s squared plus k squared, this is simply cosine of kt. And the inverse Laplace of k over s squared plus k squared, this is simply sine kt. So how do I have these memorized? I just memorized that cosine has the s up top. So cosine has the s, sine has the k. Pretty easy memory trick. Okay, so to do this problem, we will just take the Laplace, or the inverse Laplace, of the whole thing. So 4s minus 6 over s squared plus 16. And then we'll break this up. This is the inverse Laplace of 4s over s squared plus 16 minus 6 over s squared plus 16. And now we're going to use the fact that the inverse Laplace is linear. So I'm going to pull the 4 out here. So 4 inverse Laplace of s over s squared plus 16. And then here we can pull the 6 out. Then we have the inverse Laplace of 1 over s squared plus 16. Okay. So now we have to use the formulas. Before we do though, we're gonna make a little adjustment. So this first piece looks okay. In this first piece, we can think of 16 as four squared. So k is four, and it's got an s here, so it's gonna be the cosine problem, cosine. So no issues here. Here though, we have one over s squared plus 16. So our k here is also four. But there's no 4 here, so what I'll do is I'll put a 4 here, I'll cheat, and then I'll divide by 4. And now we're okay. So the answer, let's see, it's 4, and this guy here, it's going to be cosine of 4t, because cosine has the s, right? So cosine of 4t, and then this is minus 3 halves, and this piece here, it's got the k up top. k is 4, so it's going to be sine of 4t. And that's it.